Hooligans, Hooligans, welcome back to the channel. Um, hello to all my new subscribers and hello to my existing subscribers. You can say that then. Um, and thanks for subscribing, guys. Um, I need to try and get 500 followers if I can, so I can add my community tab uh, and interact with you all a bit better. Put up some quizzes, questionnaires, what you want to see on the videos. Um, what we're going to look at today is just marking things up. Um, so we're going to have a look at the Pika markers, Pika pencil, these the Marksman's standard and the deep hole uh, markers as well. Um, I've conventionally always gone with a Sharpie on all my bags, you know, just a little pen in there or a pencil. Got them all over, you know, I've got blue in, in there. Uh, but I thought I'd give these a try. See what I like, I've got a couple of leads there for these. Um, just a quick one, if you're interested, the marksman, the gentleman that made these went, actually went on the Dragon's Den. Um, so I'll put a link to his, um, his the, the programme he's on, um, on YouTube, so you can have a quick look at it. See what the Dragon's thought of this when it first came out, um, saying it was overpriced, should be a bit cheaper. And I think he's taken heed of that, and now this thing is all over the world, I think. I've seen him in America, seen him in um, Argentina, I've seen him all over Europe. Um, I think he was on to a good thing. So anyway, back to that. Um, we've got the Pika Dry, the pencil. So you've got the pencil lead there. You've got a sharpener in the end. I've got the Pika pen. So obviously, if you need to get in somewhere deep, I know this isn't very realistic. You could get in there deep, draw the hole around it. On these, unlock them to fire. Shoots a chalk spray down onto it. As you can see, I've been having a little mess around with them. Get all over your fingers, it's fun. That's because you, you could shoot them at people. Not in there, are you so please? I don't want to get banned off here for it. So, what I'm going to do, guys, I'll bring them a bit closer. We'll have a little look at these up close. So there you are guys, we've got um, the Marksman Standard there, so Standard Shot. And we've got the Marksman Deep Hole. So I'll keep them t to one side, this is the Standard, and that's the Standard, so I'll pop them on top of there. We've got the Pika Pen. So you can see it's a fine tip nib on there. Obviously, got your little holder, then you've got your Pika pencil, your Pika dry, you've got your sharpener on the end there, it pops out. There you go. Great little bits of kit. I know people are saying, oh, you could just use any pencil, any pen. Yeah, you can, but for ease of the job and for some good applications, I'd use these. So, with the marksman, guys. Just unlock the, the top. There you go, he's unlocked. Put your item where you want it. And there you go, you've got your two holes there. They do just wipe off, so there's no worry about marking anything after. If, if you did need it to wipe off, then you've got your deep hole marksman. Um, I'll just do the same sort of thing with this. There's your locking mechanism so it doesn't go off in your pocket or in your bag. There you go. Great bit of kit. Oops. Just wipes away. And then with the pens, obviously, yes, you can go wrong with things a lot better mark things up you know if you want to come in close you're very close so if you were cutting it gives you a good straight line you have to excuse me because I'm kind of I'm trying to do this while looking through the viewfinder of the camera as well and one thing with these markers they do stay on very well you know you could probably rub it off eventually but um and that's the marker. Pencil. 
same sort of application you're coming in close like I say excuse my uh, shaky fiddly hands come in there little holsters the little teeth so they're not going to slip off as you can see on my fingers I've got the marks been all over me um, so I'm going to start using these now carrying them around I'll put um, one of the marksmen's in all of the bags keep a peeker in my pocket <laughs> um, and then just pop one in the side then got the spare leads there for the peeker dry so you can just change the leads over and I've got the another little peeker dry pencil there come on and obviously sorry the, the tip just exposes your leads then There, it just slides back in. Okay, guys, hope you like the video. It's only a quick one, just showing you around these, getting um, the chalk all over me. Um, leave your comments, guys. Leave any likes, um, any of the videos you want to see. If you've seen any kit in the background you want me just to have a quick look at, let me know, and I'll try and review it for you. Like I say, I'll be revisiting a lot of tools later on, um, just to give you a catch up on how they're going.